People should have been shut down because it blew the targets right out of the whole link frame. And mine is all the way on the right. And I'm not trying to be a complainer, but that's my bench in the sun. <laughs> that's all the other benches. <laughs> but I'm pretty pleased. We're about 210, 213, depending on what lines get broken. So, pretty pumped. This dust coming off the parking lot. Just runs right through the lane. But just getting the targets repaired now. Let me tell you something. I kept hearing about Utah Wind. Kept thinking it was like at home. And it is, but it's not, man. It's, it's different. The cool part is it's like steady. There, there are gusts and stuff. It's gonna be strong. If you shoot in the afternoon, it's gonna be strong. What a place. What do you think, baby? Loving it. We got Storm and Norman there. Yeah, yeah. Buddy. David Stevenson. Hello. We got, how do you say it? Shostad? Shostad. Shostad. Yeah. yeah. We can't distract him too much because he's still shooting, so. Oh, here we go. Back to business. We're having a party at the FX house tonight. Check out that floor. Double spiral case. There's another wing out that way. There's my beautiful baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> we got a food truck out there, gonna serve everybody out on the veranda. Trout pond, whole bunch of other stuff. We are terrible at house touring, but uh, it's just been so busy that we actually haven't even seen all the house yet. John and Evelyn. That's where we usually have our breakfast. Oh yeah, party's downstairs, so we're headed out. <laughs> so, just now Rossi said that Norm should work out more. And I said, how about an arm wrestling competition? And Rossi stupidly said, sure. Just don't break my, don't break, don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't think, like, you don't have to like. It's like it's more of a test of strength, right? Yeah, right. Like he just wants to feel it. Like break my fibia. Right? All right, you ready? Because I mean, we all know that this is not well, going to work. Are you ready? Leverage on me, buddy. Uh, oh, is that is that a thing? Oh, I'm 57. I have <laughs> three, two, one, go. You're not even trying. So you're not. Even... All right, here Rossi, we go. start whenever you want, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's so strong! <laughs> His biceps are so big! Anytime you want, Ross. Oh my gosh, he's so strong! He's ridiculous! <laughs> I see a bicep. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Good job. Good job, though. Okay, so I've never lasted that long. <laughs> I've also never been stupid enough to well, do that. I was going to say, is that what she says? <laughs> <laughs> What's your, seriously, oh, no. background? You, you, you were a fighter for a while, right? Yeah. Okay. How long? Go get to you uh, Since he was three. Seven years? Really? That's awesome. Yeah. Record? Um, well, I won the Nog World Championships. <laughs> I won. Oh, you showing my Gracie? The, yeah. The cage? Okay. You, oh, you the fought with, with those guys? You I am wear. a Gracie instructor. If you're a fan of our channel, you've seen this rifle quite a few times. Right out of the custom shop of Utah Air Guns, it was a tack driver. It's got an AccuTac up front, Sabre Mono on the back, basically everything Sabre Mono on it. I've got the FX uh, adjustable rings so I can get the scope right where I want it. Speaking of the scope, Element Optics Nexus. Clarity was awesome, and I actually really needed the clarity to see some of my holes in the paper couple of the X's were centered up and really tough to tell if they were there or not. But the last thing you want to do is shoot that target again. And they tell me that 
the 10 X is, is a new record. Um, and the, the score as well in professional competition. So I couldn't be more pleased. Just an awesome experience. This is, this is it for the big money here for $5,000 in third place with a score of 224 with four X's, Jason Barnes. <laughs> today of shooters in the finals, I thought, good luck, <laughs> it could have, been, could have been any of those shooters today, there were some amazing shooters today, congrats, all right, in second place, for $10,000, for second place, $10,000 with a score of 224 with four X's, oh, I'm sorry, 225 with two X's, Utah Air Guns own Josh Warren. <laughs> By the way, Josh, that's your raise for the for the year. Right? shoot well, but he also put in a ton of hours working this week. So, man, special round of applause there. All right. For the grand prize, for $21,000 in first place with a score of 228 with 10 X's. Kid Gibson. When you win $21,000 and you shoot a score like that, you're going to explain to the room what happened. <laughs> um, a few things happened, and not to get too sappy about it, but uh, Justin recognized Norm and I really early, like 500 subscribers maybe, and he sent us some scope stickers, and uh, that was the beginning of one of the best friendships I have, and uh, I, I love you, man. <laughs> And then to take it a step further, he reached out to Frederick on our behalf and was like, this guy's really cool. Um, so I got to join the best family there is, FX. I mean, you guys have supported us from the very beginning. Um, and it's just, it's, it's not about the, the, the shooting and the trips and the guns, it's the feeling. I mean, Evelyn and John, you make us all feel like we're at home. And the only regret I have is that half of our family is missing. So, you know, all the people across the pond that couldn't come today, I just wish they were here. And uh, I'm sure they'd be super stoked, just like I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and of course, one last thing. The real way I went on was a uh, guy cooked me dinner last night. <laughs> and it was like the best tacos I ever had. <laughs> so, that's super awesome. And, yeah, uh, everybody's been super cool, super nice to meet all of you. There are so many of you guys that you know we talk to all the time, but we don't get to see faces, and finally we have. So that's the best experience of this whole thing. Uh, love you all, and uh, I'll see you guys next year for sure. Yeah. Real quick, tell us what you were thinking when you were halfway through that card. What were you thinking? I was thinking. I was thinking uh, this is going well. And uh, I, I finished my first line, and I thought, wow, okay, uh, nothing outside of the eight. And then the second one, nothing outside of the eight, there's a bunch of tens. And then 
after the third line, I just, I mean, the palpitations start. And you're like, this could happen for real. And by the time I got to the fifth one, I'm just going, oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. I didn't look at anybody else's cards. I had no idea what anybody else shot. I just was like, that's literally the best I can possibly shoot. And uh, it just happened to be on the right day. So super stoked to do it today. And super stoked. To, everybody was coming up and congratulating me, like, on the line, uh, which was just... It's great. It's a great group of people, and uh, I was freaking out. That's what I was doing. I, was out. <laughs> I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on. Hey, by the way, you're gonna be on. You're gonna be on TV again. With, we, we've got John Scott from Shooting USA here. They, they were here to cover the entire event, and uh, we look forward to seeing that. Uh, that episode of that for sure. And um, hey, give these guys a huge round of applause. Nicole and I had an amazing time. We hung around for two days after the competition just to hang out with Justin. We went side by siding and pesting, shot at the indoor range. Nicole ended up leaving with a sweet uh, Air Max gun. I really, really like this Catran. It's compact, really accurate, a lot of fun to shoot. Basically, it was a dream come true. If you're gonna go to Utah, then you wanna do it with Utah Air Guns in mind, for sure. <laughs> well, that doesn't make you feel honored. I don't know what does. Three, two. Done. Done, done.